Hello, everyone, and welcome to Global Character Day. I am so thrilled to be interviewing Leah Waters today. Leah, we had the pleasure to have you participate in last year's Character Day and had so many amazing tidbits and just gained so much knowledge that we wanted to have you in year four. So welcome. Thank you so much for having me back. Absolutely. So I'm going to read your bio really quick, and then we'll jump right into it. Um, so specializing in positive psychology, strength-based parenting, and positive education, Leah has been a psychology researcher at the University of Melbourne for over 20 years and has published close to 100 scientific journal articles and book chapters. Her new book, The Strength Switch, has been nailed as a game changer for parents seeking to bring out the best in their children. Leah works with schools and parents across the globe, and her research has been featured in media such as the Wall Street Journal, Time, The Atlantic, and The Washington Post. Well, congratulations, you have quite um, the resume. <laughs> and again, we're just so happy to have you in the Character Day land. Um, Thank you so much. Off, yeah, let's start off with um, the strength switch. I would love to hear um, some top items um, and tidbits that our viewers can hear from your book that they can go mm -hmm. out and purchase after this uh, Q&A. That's such a nice place for me to start because, um, you know, the book has recently been launched. It got launched in um, Australia and New Zealand at the end of May and it got launched in Canada and the US in July and then it just had its launch in the UK in August. So. Um, it's my favorite topic and I love speaking about it. Thank you for starting there. All right, I'm glad I started there. <laughs> Thank you. You put me in a positive mood because um, it's 7 a.m. in the morning here or 7.30 a.m. in the morning here in Australia. Oh, it's okay. nice to start the day. With it's 5 a.m. Sorry, <laughs> <laughs> um, Yeah, so look, The Strength Switch is um, my latest book and it's drawing on my own science and the science of kind of three decades of strength-based research. And it's really taking that science and saying, well, how can we use it as parents to um, work from the front foot. How can we use it as parents to do our best to build resilience and optimism into our kids, those people that we love the most, um, from a strength-based approach? And so I guess I um, probably should start with a quick definition of strength-based parenting, and that really is it's just a, a philosophy or a style of parenting where we seek first to help our kids maximise and make the most of what they already have the talents, the skills, the positive personality characteristics, their creativity, their quirks, work with what you've already got rather than trying to compensate for what's missing, what's not there. And so its emphasis is first on building up strength before we focus on weakness. Now, um, that can be difficult in the course of a day-to-day -day life as a parent because parenting, you know, we're busy and we all have this negativity bias that's built into our brain that helps us survive as a species, it helps us keep out of harm's way, um, but it means that our brain, it doesn't matter how much you love your children, doesn't matter how um, optimistic or positive you are as a person, that your brain is constantly scanning the environment for you know, what can go wrong, what can go wrong, where's the error, what's the threat, what needs to be fixed. And so even if we love our children, we inadvertently apply this negativity bias to them, which means that although we might sort of say, well, I would like to start with my children's strength first, our attention gets grabbed by the weakness. And so the purpose of the book is really just to explain the science, um, help parents see what strengths are. Strengths are things that we perform well, that we get energy in, and that we're self-motivated to do. So that's a key one for parents because often we make the mistake of thinking that a strength is something that we're good at. And yes, that's true, but it's only partly true because it's something to be defined as a full strength it has to be something that has the performance element, but it also has to be something that energizes you when you do it and that you're self-motivated to do. That's wonderful. And I'm very, very excited to dive deeper into this book. It sounds amazing. So um, if just to reiterate, so what is the number one thing that a parent that's watching this um, Q&A right now can take away from your book today? Yeah. <laughs> today. So that. I would say if parents uh, want to take something away right away, then um, the technique of strength spotting, and as the name suggests, it's really just tuning into the strengths of your kids. So give yourself, as a parent, give yourself some homework. You know, over the next three days, um, change the lens by which you look at your kids. This is why the book's called The Strength Switch, because it's about switching your attention. It's about more intentionally 
focusing on the strengths of your kids. And the technique of strength spotting is you just looking at your children and saying, okay, where do I see performance? Where do I see energy? Where do I see self-motivation? Where do I, and the opposite, you know, where do I have to nag my child to do something? Where, did, where is there sort of an obvious weakness? And then place your attention first and foremost on their weakness, uh, sorry, on their strength. That was a um, Freudian flip. And um, have a conversation with them over the next three days. The key question as a parent to ask yourself with strength spotting is, um, what is the strength that sits underneath this behaviour? So for example, if you see, if you've got, um, two children and you see them sharing, I mean, good parenting, we would know to kind of reinforce that. We would know to praise, we would know to say, thank you for sharing. Uh, and then what a strength-based perspective does, just this one little tip, tip or technique of strength spotting is to ask yourself, what's the strength that sits underneath that? So when you see that good behavior, you would call it forward, you would call forward the strength. So you would say, thank you for sharing. And then you would say, you know, that was very kind of you, or that was very fair of you. Mm -hmm. And so what you're doing is, just in that one additional sentence, because you've, you've switched what you're looking for, you've changed your, the lens by which you're looking at children, is you're connecting their good behaviour up with a strength that sits inside of them. Mm -hmm. And what that does over time as a parent is it means you don't always have to be that kind of external person who is praising and encouraging good behaviour because your children, your child has learned that the reason why they're engaging in this pro-social and virtuous behaviour is because they have an internal strength that's driving that. And so they start to be self-motivated to do it themselves. So that's really interesting because not only does the parent have to be aware of being able to track those types of character strengths, that also shows that they have to have a lot of inner awareness themselves. Can you talk a little yeah. bit about that? Yes, such a good point that you pick up. And actually in chapter two in the book, I talk about um, really strength-based parenting, it starts with us as parents. It starts with us having our own awareness of um, what our strengths and weaknesses are, trying to bring our own strengths more fully into the role of parenting because, you know, parenting is hard and it's really tiring. And um, most parents, you know, the research shows that three out of four parents report regularly feeling stressed and overwhelmed as a result of their parental responsibilities and lack of confidence about, am I doing the right thing here? Um, but if you bring your own strengths in, then because strengths are the things that you perform well, get energy from, and are self-motivated to do, if you intentionally start to bring your own strengths into your role as a parent, so, you know, maybe you, you were very creative, maybe you're a good problem solver, maybe you've got good teamwork, like these are natural strengths that you have yourself, bring them into the family, bring them into your role. So that's the first thing that I would say. And then the second thing is, as you said, it, it does require... Um, a level of intentionality. It does require you to be able to put your own things to the side to be able to see your children clearly. And so in the book, I do talk about some of the psychological defense mechanisms that stop us doing that. Projection is a big one. Um, and projection is a, a kind of well-known defense mechanism. It's been studied for about 50 years in psychology and it's looking at, um, the basic idea is that in order to preserve our own sense of self-esteem we become blind to our weak spots we don't want to own those and then inadvertently we project them onto our kids mm. um, and so what in the book i talk about a, a story in my own home i have um, a son nicholas who's 14 and a daughter emily who's 10 and um, this is a story of when nicholas was eight and we bought him a big boy's bike and we said to him you know when you finish riding the bike, just put it to the side of the house. Um, but he was eight, and so his eight-year-old brain heard, when you finish riding the bike, just dump it out the front door, and mm -hmm. mum and dad will put it away for you. <laughs> sure, sure. And he was actually very, very good at following those particular instructions. Um, so it was a cause uh, of conflict in our family, and... I was able to solve it through a strength-based approach, but what I noticed in that moment was that I was coming down on me quite hard, much, much more harshly than my husband was about this kind of disorganized, messy behavior because the truth of the matter is that I am also very messy and disorganized. And so because I don't want to own that in myself, the minute I see it in my child who's reflecting a mirror up to me, and I'm like, I oh, know, I know, no, I don't want to know about that. So, so you squash it. Yeah. Um, so you're right. It does like any good parenting, it does require starting with yourself. It does require your own self-awareness so that you can operate from a strength-based perspective more effectively. 
That's yeah. I mean, it, it's interesting because the mirror work has been coming up a lot uh, in these interviews that I've been having today, how you project the things in other people that you don't necessarily know or are aware of in yourself or things that you want mm -hmm. to work on in yourself. Um, yeah. So we're going to uh, be wrapping up here soon, but uh, Leah, I wanted to end every single one of our interviews. We're talking or asking the participants, what do you think the world needs more of right now? Compassion. Compassion. Mm -hmm. Self-compassion and compassion for others. That is so great because literally right before uh, my last interview, we were just talking about how it really starts with self-compassion to be able to have compassion outside of yourself and for the global world. So that means a, a lot. Um, any th other parting um, things that you want to leave us with? Um, yeah, look, my parting, my parting play is start first with strength. You know, train your brain. Brains are patent detecting organs. Just train your brain to start to see strengths. Start with strength body, do the strength survey. Um, I, on my website, I've got a whole bunch of like free tips, tools, activities, exercises. And the more that you play with strengths, the easier they become to see in yourself and in others. And what's the website link, Leah? That is www.strengthswitch.com. Wonderful. Well, thank you so much. Uh, we've always enjoyed having you on for Character Day. We love your wisdom yeah. and your knowledge. Um, so. Enjoy the rest of the day and oh, thank you so much. It's been great to talk to you again. Absolutely. Thanks, Leah. Okay, bye.